what is up guys it is Ritzy here back with another video and in this video I know I've been away for like five days but I've been preparing and thinking about new videos for you guys and I thought that you know this is a new season season three chapter two um you guys probably want the most FPS you can get and you guys probably want the less input lag because you probably have been experiencing a lot less FPS and a lot more lag and a lot more delay because of the new season so I'm going to show you four, no, five new tips. So stay to the end of this video. All these will help you a lot, especially if you have Google Chrome, Streamlabs, OBS, Fortnite, <laughs> and um, Discord, and Spotify. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the first tip right now. Just go ahead and open up Google Chrome if you have it. I'm going to drag it right here. Click right here. Go down to your settings go down here to advanced click on advanced click on system system and this will have it checked as use hardware acceleration when available just go ahead and turn that off um, the reason you want this off is because it can decrease your FPS and I can guarantee that you will feel one millisecond better response time and a guaranteed 10 FPS better which is very very good um, this is the same thing with all these especially when you have them open it will make a big difference but just go ahead and do that and then make sure that it's still in there when you're out but you can go ahead and close out of Chrome now it'll say restart needed but yeah go ahead and restart after you're done with everything going into our next tip right here and this is discord hardware acceleration and turning that off it's fairly simple just open up your discord gotta drag this over to this monitor right here um, all you're going to do is click on this user settings right here. It should be right down here. And if you guys want to add me on Discord or have any questions, just feel free to do that right now. And then scroll down until you see appearance. This will be under app settings. Click that. Scroll down. And then under advanced, there will be developer mode. You can go ahead and turn that off if you want to. Um, but hardware acceleration, that's on for me. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. And it will warn you, change hardware acceleration. Uh, changing this hard, the hardware acceleration setting will quit and relaunch Discord. Are you sure you want to do this? Just go ahead and press OK. And it will relaunch Discord. But this will guarantee um, reduce your input lag and increase your FPS. I can't see it decreasing your ping by anything. But I can definitely see your input lag. And you will definitely feel a difference. We're going on to step 3. And all you got to do is open up your Spotify, wait for this to open up, and then once you see up here, just go ahead and click that drop down, click on settings, please, and then scroll all the way down until you see show advanced settings, just click on this, and then there will be something around compatibility, it will say enable hardware acceleration, just go ahead and turn that off, and then just click restart Spotify. Now, this next step is step four, and if you have anything along the lines of streaming or Streamlabs OBS, just type in your Streamlabs OBS, open this up, and wait for it to launch. Drag this over to this monitor so you guys can see it. Okay. Go to your settings, and then go to your um, search bar and type hard and click it'll say disable hardware acceleration just make sure that's checked and then click done and then you're free to exit out of that I can almost guarantee you guys that you will see um, when you're streaming way better FPS less input lag and you will see a lot better frames overall guaranteed 30 more FPS less FPS drops especially when you're using these apps and especially less input lag these will help you out a lot guys I am not kidding they're um, really helpful and I have used all these tips and I remember back when I first started using them and I could feel a big difference alright but now the last and final tip that you guys need to do for the last part of this and this will help drastically go ahead and open up your epic games launcher this will help you guys to get a lot better FPS make your FPS more consistent especially and reduce input lag now wait for your launcher to open click on your library 
And once you see Fortnite and you see something right here on your library, uh, Fortnite, 22 days, size, just go ahead and click on these three dots and then click the verify. I put these in one of my last videos, but you need to do it again since it's a new season. And um, this could take anywhere from one to five minutes depending on your PC and your internet speed, but um, it usually spikes to 30 and then takes a little while from then. So once you've launched everything here, um, just wait for this to go through and then you can probably restart your PC um, or do this and just launch your game, which you will feel a big difference. You will feel, um, I suggest like showing before and after, like uh, feeling it and feeling your game and taking pictures. And hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to say I'm editing this video that you're watching right now and um, yeah, if you made it to the end, that's really awesome. Thank you for 120 subscribers. Um, please share with your friends, but I just wanted to let you guys know that um, my Instagram will be in the description, but I also joined a new team, and I'm going to be putting their Instagram in the description, so everybody go follow them if you're real, and if um, you would like to watch me on Twitch, I always stream every night from 10 to 12, and yeah, my uh, link for that will also be in the description, so just feel free to check those out. Um, I will leave all those linked in the description, and yeah, you guys are awesome.